How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy, Slightly Hairy Genesis. Slight Beard, Soy Boy Beard Genesis. <laughs> I just thought I'd try to grow it out for the hell of it. I don't know. But I, um... I honestly grow the shittiest beard, homie. I won't lie to you guys. I guess it's my low T. Because I'm an old fart now, but... Um, speaking of soy boys, though, I wanted to bring this guy up. Um, <laughs> fucking Doug to Naple. You guys remember this dude? Um, move this a little bit closer here. Yeah, this guy was popping off just like a year ago, man. He had like 200k views or subs, I mean, um, on YouTube. He was racking up those views, dog. And he just recently came back. And man, oh man, the tables turned. I'm telling you, bro. Guys, listen. It pays not to be a dick in life. Uh, I've seen this guy on podcasts. He seems like he could be pretty unsufferable. And not only that, but he's been on some really shit podcasts, too. Like the freaking drunken peasants. <laughs> Remember them? Yeah, exactly. I don't either. Completely irrelevant. Run by a narcissist by the name of Ben Pye. And um, let's just say he's a big fan of me. But yeah, this this tool actually goes on their show, man. This fucking tool. I'm sorry, but if you go on a show like that, to me, you're just a tool. And I I hate to say these things in a way because I, in some ways, like the guy. I know he created Earthworm Jim, which was an awesome Sega Genesis game, uh, as well as Super Nintendo, but... You know, the thing is, guys, people change over time. And to me, Doug Tenapel is one of those guys who just all of a sudden, you know, cares about politics and religion. You know, after the whole 2016 rise of the SJW, you've got these broken celebrities trying to, you know, act like they care so much. But really, it's just they're trying to clout chase. And I really believe that this is one of those people... You know, because here's the thing, dude. <laughs> never once, never once have I seen this guy's face before 2016. Before all this, you know, politics shit going on. Never. Never, bro. <laughs> you know, he may have been at a few uh, video game conventions, but this guy, dude. This guy. I'm sorry, Doug, but like, really, bro. You seem like a giant cloud chaser to me. Uh, and again, it's a shame because we actually do share kind of the same politics. If I did fall in a label, it would be like Christian conservative. And that's what he claims to be. So like, <laughs> listen, man, it pains me to say this, but this guy's a tool. Like really, bro. Um, I heard that he even made some guy like <laughs> cry on a podcast or something like, oh, lordy. I need to look into that one. Um, I saw it in my recommendations. <laughs> Doug to Naple makes a guy cry on a podcast. Jeez, like, that's pretty fucked up, man. I don't know, dude. But you know how clickbait is. Uh, so I'm not going to say for sure. But <laughs> yeah, dude. I No, I've, I've seen him be an asshole on camera before. He even admitted that he, he's kind of a smart mouth. Uh, I heard him say that. So, you know, Doug... If you can't, like, control your shit, dude, you really shouldn't be on a podcast group, you know? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you don't make YouTube videos, but come on, brada. Anyhow, so you guys, what do you think about Mr. Tenaple, Doug Tin Nipples? <laughs> That's what I called him. I called him that in one of his videos. Uh, I also said, you know what? You should just call yourself Jim, uh, Jim Tenaple. Since you love to, you know, tell everyone how you're the creator of Earthworm Jim in every video, <laughs> he should just change his name to Jim to Nable. So, uh, yes, he's the creator of Earthworm Jim. Huzzah! I mean, that's great, but I'm not going to automatically assume you're cool just because you made a nice video game that I enjoyed as a kid. You know, I fucking, um... What's his name? I think it's like Greg Johnson or something. Yeah, this guy was a tool. Turned out to be a big tool bag. And he made one of my favorite video games ever, Toe Jam and Earl. So, 
Never trust your heroes, guys. Um, oh, this guy completely e-bagged on a Kickstarter campaign uh, for that new Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, oh my lord, that shit was a disaster. It took like five years for him to make a shitty fucking um, Flash game, you know. Just a shitty fucking 2D side-scroller. <laughs> Ridiculous. And I remember, like, all these options you could donate, you know, like... I think one was even up to like ten thousand dollars. It's like, calm down, dude. Okay, Toe Jam and Earl wasn't that good. I mean, it was good, but cheese and rice, bro. Cheese and rice. So that's really all I have to say here. Uh, you can sub to his channel if you want. You know, I'll go ahead and plug him. Since I talk some shit, I'll I'll do him a favor. You know. Can sub to his channel it's Doug to Naple I'll even link it in the description for you but I just want you guys to be warned that this guy is shady um I honestly wonder if he's even a Christian like I just wonder dude with some of these people you know uh because let's just be honest dude if you're part of the industry you know birds of the feather flock together this is not a Christian media that we consume. So it does make you kind of wonder wonder when, you know, like these celebrities claim to be Christian. Um, I 90% of the time it's a bunch of bullshit, dude. Let's just be honest. So anyhow, um, all the best to you, Doug, and your clout chasing this. Um, for what it's worth, you seem like a fairly good artist. I would just, I would say this to all people like him. Stick to your craft. No one cares about your politics. Shuddy, okay? <laughs> just shuddy, bro. Nobody cares. No one cares, dude. And I don't think even you care either, Mr. Tin Nipples. I don't. Because I never heard of you before 2016. I never did, not once, dude. With your six foot eight fucking ass. This guy's a giant. His face is like my whole body. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.